I mean, the Hulk, look, I spent my life in Washington. I spent 35 years there from 1985 to 2020s. And my father ran a federal agency. So I know how the classification system worked and still works. And it's a lie. It's yeah, a lie. It's a complete lie. It's a complete lie. There are over a billion classified documents. So how is that a democracy? If you don't know what your government is doing and yeah. you have no right to know on the basis of totally fraudulent national security claims, it's not a democracy, right? It's an oligarchy. And so, and I believe in democracy. I think that the people own this country. It's not owned by federal unionized bureaucrats or appointees no. or the richest people. It's not just like the 27 billionaires get to run everything. I just don't agree with that. I don't either. I hate it, actually. And I they're not even too. good at it. That's the other thing. They're selfish and they're stupid and they're short-sighted and they're totally lacking wisdom. So they're not even running the country well. But even if they were, I would still be opposed to it because that's a betrayal of the core promise of America. Yeah, that's so, feudalism. Completely. It's it's lying for its own sake. Mm -hmm. It's the worship of dishonesty. Yeah. It's the hatred of the truth. Why would you hate the truth? Sometimes the truth is inconvenient. If you right. catch me cheating on my wife, I don't want you to tell the truth about it. Right. Of course, I get it. Yeah. But I don't I would never even think to take pleasure in telling a lie for its own sake. I'm not angry when you tell the truth, as long as it doesn't expose my you know weaknesses or what, as long as I'm not hurt by it. They hate the truth because it's true. Yeah, that's exactly and a hundred percent of the people punished in the last five years in the public conversation have been punished for telling the truth, not for lying. Yeah. And they don't even pretend otherwise. They don't call it lying anymore. They call it disinformation. Yeah, right? that's what they the thing about it. disinformation is it can be true, mm -hmm. right? But it's still verboten. How does that work? And the people who run our society consider themselves gods, and that's Boy, why they're they not do. explaining. Boy, they do. They don't think they have to. Oh, I've noticed. They don't think. I, I, I think I was talking to somebody, and they said to me, "Well, they think they're more than human." Oh, obviously. Yeah, they. I. I go. They're not even human because humans care about their environment of and course. their neighbors, and humans uh, care about you know other people's children of course and humans care about living things yes but they don't do any of that and he goes because they think they're more than human oh i noticed they That's think why they they're want to live royals forever. they think they're like royals in in a rarefied sphere of dna or something above us like did they come from another planet a lot of religious people they're into some deep rabbit holes of things and I don't know anything. Well, you can see where they are, though. I mean, I speaking for myself, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if this is the Nephilim, right? I, I was going to say. I, I don't I know. Here we go. That's what I said. <laughs> no, no. I'm, what I, no, let Not me just say. Heard. I said You're I fine. don't know right. anything don't about that stuff, okay? She I'm does. a very ordinary middle-aged <laughs> man who spent his life following politics and right. theology. But I do know that whatever's going on is very deep. Yeah. I've spent my whole life around politicians and seen decisions get made, interviewed people who run things, and... What's happening now is qualitatively different, so different that it's not in the same category at all. No. This is hurting people for the sake of hurting them. This is lying for the sake of lying. This is, as the Power devil hates holy the water, sake. they hate the truth. You tell the truth about anything. It almost doesn't matter what it's about. It doesn't have to be about the next election. Right. That's it right. can just be about the, about history, for example. Mm -hmm. right. Telling the truth about history. Why should that offend well, anybody? that really pisses Periods me where off. everyone's dead. And we can't, of course, change the past, so there's nothing really at stake for us now, right? You would think people would welcome open-minded historical inquiry to get closer to what actually happened in whatever period or in whatever event. They hate that. Yes, Well, what, what are you watching? You're watching someone who hates the truth because it's true. And there's no possible profit motive that is driving that. There's no political end that is driving that. They hate the truth because it's true. Now we're in the realm of theology. Yeah, we are. That's Absolutely. all that is. I mean, and I, I, I can't so possibly too. explain it, but that's what that is. I've done a, some reading recently on topics that, not not forbidden or racial or religious, pure history. Like, what do we know about ancient civilizations? Mm -hmm. And I don't understand how we could send men to the moon, but no one can come up with even a rough theory for how the pyramids were built. Or even what age they are, because we don't know that either, mm -hmm. yeah. actually. And they're under the water, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's pyramids under the water. But why, can I ask you this, since you know much more of this than I, but why is there such institutional resistance to acknowledging that we don't know certain things? Because we do know. Oh, well, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Hello? Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. interesting. Wait, explain that a little. No, That's because really everything, everything is 
the people at the tippy top, the owners of the world, the big club, like George Carlin says, that you and me ain't in, uh, they know everything. They, they know the real, they, you know, it's all in the Vatican library, so they know everything. It's all there. But murdering people just to murder them, burning their stuff when you could steal it, that's, again, a spiritual phenomenon. They're like seized by some spirit of destructiveness. Well, like, it's a demon spirit. That's it. That's and that's demonic, absolutely. always been here. It's yeah. all, And it emerges. Dominance. Listen to this. Noah Lyles is becoming an icon of the sport. He's the Olympic bronze medalist. He's the defending champion. He is desperate to taste gold again. And we actually, we lie to ourselves and imagine we've got our total inner control. Yeah. Everything can be explained rationally. Yeah. That's why I hate this whole, they're in it for the money. Yeah, no, If you not. think that's all it's about, yeah. you're going to miss what's you're actually miss happening. what it's really well, about. What about the executive? Do, do, do you believe they withheld information from sitting presidents? Yeah, it's funny you ask that. So the executive was initially involved in the secrecy on the UAP mm -hmm. topic. Um, they transposed the Manhattan Project secrecy construct onto this uh, eventually, and then they formed you know, the Atomic Energy Act, what well, was McMahon Act of 46, the Atomic Energy Act of 54, and they purposely diluted the definition of like special nuclear material. If you actually read section 51 of the Atomic Energy Act of 1954, it says, you know, besides normal nuclear material, we can also protect stuff that is similar. And it's a very like broad definition. And that's basically the justification of the secrecy on this topic is the material that we recover sometimes does have radioactive properties. And so we, you know, they legally and, and gymnastically, you know, twisted the public law uh, to justify the secrecy. It's a symptom of the overclassification of this whole secret national security state that was formed in 1947. And uh, they're basically classing or classifying basic physics, basic astrobiology, that kind of stuff. And that's do we classify nuclear physics? No, you can study it in a university. I have, there's a senior intelligence officer that's currently on the program that, you know, told us that they have, they struggle hiring even the right technical people because of the obtuse security. Imagine the best person in quantum gravity smokes marijuana. Are they yeah. getting a TS clearance? No. So they can't even bring in the right people. And once again, like you just said, a lot of the, breakthroughs have not matriculated into civil society for the most part. And in, in an era of climate change and other things going on, you know, and we can debate the genesis thereof, but this is the time to bring it out because it's going to take 20, 30 years to commercialize anything anyways. But it, it does suggest that there's something more going on here. It suggests that mm -hmm. the U.S. government, I mean, they've kept the Kennedy assassination files, thousands of pages classified for 60 years this month. Mm -hmm. because the CIA, of course, was in contact with Oswald and had knowledge of the conspiracy to kill Kennedy. That, I'm not speculating. I talked to someone who read the documents. So they have hidden those documents in order to protect themselves from public scrutiny of their own illegal, immoral behavior. I, I'm kind of be surprised if something similar is not going on here. But our military aircraft haven't, you know, progressed to some crazy level either. Obviously, at least, um, yeah. based on what the public knows. Obviously, at least... Um, yeah. Based on what the public knows. Yeah. At first, they're hiding something real that implicates yeah. them. And yeah. if they're talking to these entities, whatever they are, and I, I believe on the basis of evidence that the U.S. government has made contact and has had continuous or at least sporadic, but over a period of years contact. Yeah. If there's certainly, you know, a relationship that was cultivated with non-human intelligences, hypothetically, I guess, you know, to play off of what you just said, good or bad, it's almost like. We were afraid after 9-11, dirty bombs, terrorists. Okay, well, that's nature. That's life. Yin and yang of the universe. If there is malevolent non-human intelligences, okay, well, that's a fact of life. You don't hide it. Because what if the U.S. populace one needs to be prepared for something sometime? Well, of Hypothetically. Course. And it's also not you know, their right to hide it because no. they don't own the government. The no. public does, actually. Imagine the best person in quantum gravity smokes marijuana. Are they yeah. getting a TS clearance? No. What if the U.S. populace one needs to be prepared for something? Someday? Well, of hypothetically. Devin Nunes put this out. Here's my full statement that CNN hid from its own readers. 
After failing in its manic hunt for a secret Trump P-tapes, CNN has switched to focus a secret Trump binder, which I understand were stolen by an army of unicorn-riding chupacabra hunting leprechauns last seen near Atlantis. And it's very, very interesting. Were stolen by an army of unicorn-riding chupacabra hunting leprechauns last seen near Atlantis. And it's very, very interesting. 